Before we get into this, I just wanted to mention that some parts of this video have been recorded already because I did an identical version of this video for people who own Photoshop. If you don't own Photoshop and you want a free alternative to Photoshop that will be able to get the same job done, then use Photop and I'm going to get into it in this video. All that to say, if you've watched the Photoshop video already and you've seen the intro for that, then skip ahead to this timestamp because that's when I start talking about Photop. All right, let's get right into it. Guys, 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 I have cracked the code. I have cracked the co the code has been cra I have a degree in encryption. I don't think you're hearing me. Come closer. Okay, back up a little bit. I've cracked. Just a quick heads up. You're going to see some timestamps on screen, right? On screen, on screen, on screen. You're going to see some timestamps on screen right now. And you'll also see like some sections and chapters in the YouTube description and on the YouTube progress bar, just in case you wanted to jump to the tutorial or if you wanted to jump to the free overlay pack that I'm going to mention at the end, that's just so that you can like, you know, click through and stuff and stuff and stuff. So do y'all remember when I said this in my last video? Just to figure out that the issue is Instagram has made it mathematically impossible to make a banner. Well, after years and years and hours of number crunching and mathematics, I have finally found a solution. Now let me tell you, this whole thing is way more complicated than it needs to be, but I have devised a foolproof method just for you guys. So if you're a brand manager, content creator, or a social media influencer that wants to make seamless three post banners that actually conform to Instagram's new rectangular grids, you're in the right place. So for those of you who don't know me, my name is Joe Davis. I am a musician, multi-instrumentalist, photographer, videographer, and social media content creator. Our Instagram recently came out with an update that made the square grids on our profile feeds rectangles don't get me started i did a whole video on that check the card but they, they just yeah it was it was a mess <laughs> now the biggest problem with this is the aspect ratios but to explain all of that is better if you just watch the video that i did because i explained the whole thing in depth in that video so i'd recommend you check it out before you watch this one basically what i was saying in the video is that instagram's new grids have a three to four aspect ratio but the narrowest that you can upload to instagram is a four to five aspect ratio so if you try to upload a three to four image to instagram it's basically going to crop it down to four to five just to be able to upload it and then when you look at it on the grid it's going to crop down further to three to four so you end up with something that starts out like this but looks like this but wait it gets worse um, you know those seamless three post banners that everybody was doing all over the place back when instagram was like a square basically all you had to do was create like a three to one rectangle and then just splice them into three different thirds and then just upload each third to instagram so that it would be one seamless thing across the whole thing and so carrying that logic over to make a seamless three to four grid you would just make a nine to four aspect ratio rectangle and then just slice that into thirds but wait you can't upload three to four images to instagram <laughs> I want to jump off a bit. So what ends up happening is you try to post something that looks like this, but it ends up looking like this. <laughs> but do not panic, because as I said, I have cracked the guys. I have cracked. So what you're going to need for this video is the Photoshop banner pack, which is available on my website at store.joedavisars.com. You will need this to be able to follow any of the instructions in the video, and you're going to need to access photop.com on your computer. So step one is to create your banner. Regardless of which software you're using, whether it's Photoshop, Affinity, Photop, GIMP, Microsoft Paint, Windows Live Movie Maker. <laughs> You're going to need to set your canvas to have an aspect ratio of 23 to 10. This is extremely important. You can really use any resolution in that aspect ratio that you want to. I would suggest going higher resolution because it gives you a better quality image. So something like 60 to 10 by 2700. But if you're trying to save space on your computer, then the lowest that you can go without Instagram degrading your quality is 3105 by 1350. Keep in mind when you're creating this banner that there is going to be a little bit of clipping on both the left and the right hand side. And to know exactly how much clipping that there is, navigate to the banner creation overlay folder in the Photoshop banner pack, drag any of the overlay PNG files into your project and you'll get a clear visual guide. So once you've finished your banner, we can now split up the banner. So what you're going to do is you're going to open photop.com and you're going to be presented with this page. And what you're going to do, you're going to click open from computer, which is going to give you the option to select any Photoshop file that is currently on your computer. And you're going to navigate to the Photoshop files folder. You're going to navigate to 12 to 5. I was trying to put 12 colon 5, but you can't save colons and file names. But you're going to go to 12 to 5. And inside this folder, you're going to find three different Photoshop files. You're going to select the file that corresponds to the quality that you used to make the banner. I know that the resolution is going to be slightly different than when we did the banner but just focus on the last number of the resolution and then that should line up with your banner 
So my banner was 1350, so I'm gonna open that. Cool, so here we have it. So inside the layer tab, the first layer is alternate hue, which basically means that if you have a banner that has a lot of red and blue in it, because as you can see, the overlays are red and blue, um, you can click alternate hue and it's gonna change the color to be a kind of neon, turquoise, and orange. So I'm gonna leave this off for now, but the main things that I want you to focus on are these layers down here. So you see that there's a four to five grid and a three to four grid, because remember Instagram crops down from four to five to three to four. You'll also see that there are some lines that are going from the top of the web page to the bottom of the web page. Now these are called guides. If you don't see any of these, make sure that you have guides enabled. Now, if you don't know what that means, then basically go to view, go to show and go to guides. And if this isn't selected, then make sure to select it and you should see the guides come up. If you don't see the guides come up, then that means there is something wrong with your machine. Now you also want to make sure that snap is enabled because this is going to, if snap isn't enabled, this is not going to work. So make sure that this little checkbox is enabled and make sure that you go into snap to and make sure guides is also selected and then we should be good. So what you're going to want to do, you're going to want to import your 23 by 10 banner by going to file, open in place, and you're going to navigate to where you'd save the banner. So I don't remember where I saved mine, but I'm going to find out real quick. This is the banner that I had made. I'm going to click open. Now it, it, it it's, it's not there, but that's because the layer is behind the background. So I'm going to go ahead and drag this up so that it's in front of the background, but underneath all of the other overlay layers. And there we have it. Now, what you're going to want to do is make sure that you have the banner left aligned to the image. So you're going to make sure that the left of this is aligned to the left of the canvas. And all you have to do is literally move it. So we move it and it snaps to the left and then we let go. Now you can click anywhere outside of the image so that we're out of transform mode. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to select the rectangular marquee tool. We're going to start from anywhere outside the canvas in the top right corner and we're going to click and drag all the way over to this guide. If it doesn't immediately snap to the guide, like if you notice, as soon as my mouse goes close to the guide, it immediately snaps to it. If it doesn't snap to it, that means that snap isn't enabled. So go back to view and go to snap and make sure snap to and guides are selected. But when you select the guide, you want to make sure that you go all the way over to this one right here and release. And now you have made a selection. Now you're gonna wanna make sure that your banner layer is selected and click command or control J. Now what this does is it basically makes a a layer out of the selection that you have made. So if I hide my banner layer, you'll see that this is all that's left because that was what the selection was. So if I unhide this real quick, what we're going to want to do from here is go to the move tool. Essentially, what we're trying to do is align the left of the selection with the left of the center rectangle. Now, that was very hard to understand, but I think it'll be easier if I just like hide everything except for the rectangle to show you. So you see how there are three red rectangles that make up this long rectangle. These represent the three posts that are going to be made to Instagram. Now, what we're trying to do is make it so that the left side of this layer is aligned with the left of the middle rectangle. So we literally, all we have to do is just drag it over and it's going to snap into place and that's good. Now let me unhide all of the other layers that are there. And then what we're going to do, yes, it looks weird, but that's besides the point. It's supposed to look weird, it's fine. So now we're going to rinse and repeat the process. We select our newly made layer and we go back to the rectangular marquee tool. We select up to this guide now, not that one, but this one over here. Hit Command or Control J, go to the Move tool, and we're gonna move it so that the left of this selection is aligned with the left of the right rectangle. And there we have it, literally, that is it. Now this looks really jagged, but I promise you this is exactly how it's supposed to look. It will look fine when it's up on Instagram. So what you're gonna wanna do at this point is take away the overlays because this isn't going to be a part of your Instagram post. You're going to hit File, you're gonna hit Export As, and you're gonna hit JPEG. Now you're gonna to want to export this with the highest amount of quality possible. So you have the quality at 100 and then we're gonna hit save banner for video. And there we go. It is saved at the highest quality. Now, obviously we're not going to be uploading this entire banner to Instagram at once. We need to split it into three separate posts. So to do that, what we're gonna do, we're gonna head over to file. We're gonna hit open and we're gonna navigate back to the Photoshop files folder. But this time we're gonna go into the four to five folder. And then depending on which resolution that you use to make your banner you're going to select that respective file click open and this is just a completely blank file so all of this is just a blank face the blank you're going to import your banner into this file so you're going to click file open in place navigate to your banner and import it now you will notice that this banner has left a lot of white negative space at the top and the bottom all we need to do is hit option and drag from the bottom box in the center 
and just drag it all the way down to where it lines up with the canvas and it's going to snap into place and that is it so we're going to stay on the move tool and we're going to make sure that the left of your banner aligns with the left of the canvas so this is going to be creating the image that's on the left if you were to look on the instagram grid so i'm going to drag this over and there we go so you've placed that and now all we have to do is export this and basically rinse and repeat for the other two posts And that is it. You have your three posts. So when you upload them to Instagram, it's going to end up looking like this. This is kind of a thing where it's like you kind of have to make a decision because remember on desktop, it hasn't turned into rectangles yet. So you have to kind of make a decision of, OK, people are more than likely going to be Instagram on their phones. So it would make sense for me to use these rectangles to my advantage as opposed to just like stick with the square for desktop purposes. Now, remember what I said earlier about there being a free download slash overlay that you can cop at my website? Well, if you're a brand manager or a social media content, content creator or influencer and you want to create a post with that crop in mind but you don't know how much crop it's going to be I've created an overlay pack that I am selling for the affordable price of nothing uh <laughs> It is absolutely free. You can cop it at my website, store.joedavisdars.com. Cop it now before stocks, well, it's a digital product, so stock isn't going to run out, but that's besides the point. So here's how it works. You start with the canvas on any software of your choice, that's four to five, and then you just drag any of the overlays over it so that you can see how much negative space that you need to consider when making your post. Included in the pack are a rectangle overlay that shows how it crops down from four to five, down to three to four. A slimmer rectangle for those specific needs. Colored safe zones and unsafe zones to visually indicate the work area that you're working with and labels for added clarity. You can go low resolution, decent resolution, great resolution and ridiculous resolution for those whose computers are beasts. And the best part about it is the fact that it's a PNG pack. So literally you can use it with any software, any software at all. Windows Live Movie Maker gang, rise up. <laughs> Now, I use Photoshop, and I know a lot of other people use Photoshop as well, so to make life easier for all of you guys, I've included four Photoshop files that have the overlays already set up in the layers of the project. These four Photoshop canvases are available in the same four resolutions mentioned above. Yes, this is loads of value, and yes, once again, this is free. You spend literally all of zero dollars and zero centigrade. C centigrade? <laughs> Head on down to store.joedavisdars.com to copy your free 4 to 5 to 3 to 4 overlay pack and you'll be able to make content without any worries at all. So yeah, that's how you do it. Um, you can find all the information in the description, the links in the description, everything is in the description. If you have any troubles with any of the products, please reach out to me at contact at joedavisdars.com. If you found this information helpful, please do leave a like. If you didn't, then leave a dislike and let me know why in the comment section down below. Sub to the channel if you want to see more informative content like this. I am still a musician, I promise. I I still make music, I promise. But yeah, check out the video on the left if you haven't already seen my video that went into the depths of how the Instagram thing happened and why it's annoying. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate your time. Take care, stay safe, stay sanitized, and that's the vibe.